So welcome. This is going to be a reading for my Leos. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for May 16th through the 23rd, and we're going to see what's going on with you energy-wise for this week. Now, if you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more of my readings in the future. Also, if you would like a personal, check out my other YouTube channel, or if you want to follow me on my Instagram or Twitter for my daily horoscopes, all that information will be listed in the description as well as the comment section. Let's see what's going on. May 16th to the 23rd. Okay, so current energy, we do have the Hierophant, the Obscure Challenge that may come up. We have the Seven of Wands, which you need to focus your energy on um, or embrace. We have the Three of Coins. Career and Finances is the Three of Swords in Reverse. Love is the King of Cups. And then the Advice is the Knight of Swords in Reverse. All right, what's the theme? Okay. So we have no need to worry. Ooh, I like this card. Very positive. So let's talk about this. So overall theme, this is a time frame in which anxiety may be at an all-time high. Um, and this may be... Because you're just doubting yourself for little things, um, or not little things. You're doubting yourself because there's so much information and growth and understanding that you guys have gained over like the past two years or even the past couple of months or weeks. Um, and you feel like all the information or understanding that you're gaining, it should translate into you being a lot further in your life or this happening or that happening. And you could just be uh, suffering through little moments of doubting yourself or, you know, feeling as if like mm, for some reason you're just not doing enough. And this card is here to remind you that there's no need for you to worry. OK, some of you also this worry may stem from more of you having fear of a relationship never basically recovering between you and another person. Um, there could be like some disagreements that you guys have recently gotten into. You don't know if necessarily there is going to be a chance for you guys to recover that connection um, and, and get it back to where it used to be. Now, some of you, you just have extreme anxiety and that's also the problem here. Now, when it comes to what I see for just your overall energy now, we do have the Hierophant. So this is you either looking closely at a marriage or your relationship um, and trying to make the most sense of it. Um, hmm. This is also you trying to gain more of an understanding of your spirituality and your beliefs, in a sense. You could be realizing that your just personal beliefs are shifting and that you're gaining more of an understanding as you keep going. And your spirituality, like, again, you guys may be really starting to... Um, Either, like I said, lean more into spirituality or religion. But anyways, um, also for some of you, you're also looking at whether or not you are ready for a relationship. Some of you have been single for a long time and have been really dedicated to your spiritual journey. And you may be looking for more of a relationship that has more of a... Um, like the person you're dealing with is on the same level as you in terms of understanding spirituality or your religion. But anyways, going deeper into this, when it comes to the obscure issue that may come up during this time frame, I do have the seven of wands. Um, so the obscure issue may be you guys feeling kind of stressed out and feeling like there's little small obstacles or issues that keep coming up. Um, you could be also experiencing a level of just personal stress 
And then it's making everything outside of you seem even more seemingly stressful. So be careful of that. Or even somebody being very difficult or um, like blocking you may be also the problem here. Now, what you need to embrace and focus your energy on during this time frame, we have the three of coins. So this is on for one getting your ducks in a row especially in your career if you have like multiple things that you're doing in your career to make money this is finding a proper balance and not spreading yourself too thin um some of you also this is working on strengthening your relationship by you guys both trying to cooperate with each other and also looking at where you know some of you are experiencing a third party situation how being in a third party relationship is like you guys need to look at how it's detrimental to you, especially if you guys have been trying to act like it, it hasn't been bothering you as of recently. This is you needing to be honest with yourself, okay? Now, what I see for your career and finances, I do have the three of swords in reverse. So this is good. This is you coming out of a space of disappointment, like extreme disappointment. Um, you're starting to realize that there's no need for you to fixate on what you can't necessarily change about what you, you know, didn't do sooner in your career or why you didn't do this or why you, you can't fix focus or fixate on that. Okay. Um, some of you are also starting to realize that there isn't nothing to really be upset about with the, also with the nothing or not the nothing, the, uh, no need to worry card. Oh my God, if I can talk, um, you guys are starting to realize there's no need to worry about your career. Cause what's for you is going to be for you. And a lot of you are taking this more of like, get up, brush yourself off and try again approach, especially if you were having issues in your career for a minute. Now, when it comes to your love life specifically, I do have the King of Cups. So there's someone who you definitely care about deeply. Um, of course, you want this person to understand you more on an emotional level. But um, I definitely see where you care about this individual. Um, and you're hoping that you guys can at least come into a common ground in terms of both of you guys' needs. Um, it could be also borderline toxic with the relationship you guys may have. You could be pretty tired of the toxicity. Or just being based off of like sex for some of you, like sexual chemistry. Now, what I see in regards to the advice, the overall advice, I do have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is making sure you're not making impulsive decisions and not really thinking them through during this time frame. That's really going to be killer. Um... This is also making sure as well that you don't keep letting somebody keep deciding when and how they want to deal with you whenever they want to deal with you. So if you have anybody who just, you know, reaches out to you on a Monday and then you don't hear from them three weeks until three weeks later and, you know, they reach back out and they're hoping that you guys just resume things like nothing happened. That's a sign that a person doesn't genuinely care about your feelings. OK, And really think through your responses to things during this time frame as well. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you took something from this video and that you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs it up and subscribe. Check out the description box if you want a personal. All that will be below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.